Alrighty then. Uh, this morning, this is a hopefully a really really quick video. I know I say that every time. Uh, on a LM317 uh, adjustable voltage regulator kit uh, that you can get off eBay. Um, um, don't currently have a use for this. I've built my own. Uh, this is just. Um, I kind of bought it just to see how well the kit worked. Um, and I'm going to go over it real quick. Some of the things you should look for in these kits. Um, so, to start off with, uh, the circuit is based on the adjustable voltage regulator LM317, which can, depending on how much voltage you give it, adjust voltage from, uh, if I remember correctly, uh, 1.5, maybe 1.25 volts, up to, I believe, it's like 20 or 21 volts, um, given a maximum of about 35 volts input. Um, as I said, I, I built my own uh, voltage adjustable voltage regulators based on this. Um, then one of them that I use as a little bench power supply. Uh, the nice thing about this is that it's uh, this kit is adaptable to being mounted in a case um, because you can take the switch off, put it in a case, and run wires to it. You can take this connector, um, put it in a case, run wires to it. Same with the pot, um, and then you you know where your input voltage goes in. Or I'm sorry, yeah. Input. Yeah, input comes in here, output out here. Um, some of the things to look for when you buy one of these, um, the LM317 is a, it's a pretty nice little voltage, uh, adjustable voltage regulator, but it has some issues and one of them is is it does not like getting short circuited. Um, if the input voltage and the output voltage are off by I think it's around five volts you'll fry it. In other words if you want five volts out and you give it ten volts uh, and you short it you'll you can fry this. Um, I'll show you some things to look for a little bit later. Um, um, well, actually, I'll show you right now. If you look in here, there is a diode across the um, uh, boy. I don't remember if it's across the input output or across the adjust and output. It may be across the adjust and output. No. No, I think this is the input output. <clears throat> Either way, uh, if you look at these kits, one of the things you want to look for, I mean besides, you know, you've got four diodes here and a bridge rectifier. Um, if you can see any of the circuit or if they put a schematic online, look for a diode across either the input output or the adjust output or both ideally both the um, uh, reason is, is if you have those diodes there and you accidentally short out uh, for you know just for an instant it won't blow out the chip I found this out the hard way when I built my own I left out those diodes and um, every time I accidentally shorted I'd have to take them power supply apart and replace the regulator. Um, the other thing I've noticed is this one has one of these little uh, resettable fuses on here. That's what this little uh, brown thing is. 
and unfortunately I can't read the writing on it. Um, it could be an amp, it might be 1.5 amps. The voltage regulator, the LM317, could only handle 1.5 amps max. Um, this also this um, heat sink may not be adequate enough for 1.5 amps for a long period of time. Um, I'm not sure, uh, you know, how how to tell how big a uh, heat sink needs to be to handle 1.5 amps, but. I think it's a bit bigger than this. Um, so enough. one of the other things about this is that you um, one of the things I would do is if you really want to get fine granular uh, control on the voltage is replace this 5k pot with a multi-turn precision 5k pot um, makes a world of difference when you're trying to dial in a specific voltage. Um, so, real quick, I'm going to put the uh, schematic in here that comes with the data sheet and show you what I mean. So this is a uh, a circuit that is provided with the data sheet. Um, it just basically tells you what you need to build your own. You, you, you can build a perfectly good serviceable uh, voltage regulator circuit with this circuit right here. But the, the key points are that you've got this 1N4002 on the output and adjust and you have a 1N4002 on the input output. And uh, those will save you from having to replace these. Uh, if you accidentally short things out. Um, and, you know, that's basically it. Uh, one thing I forgot I also brought out, here is another uh, adjustable voltage regulator that I got off of eBay. Um, it's built based on the same chip, the LM317, and it's fully adjustable. Um, however, as you can tell, this thing has a very tiny heat sink. Um, it, uh, just checking here, it also does not have any protection built in. Um, if you wanted to make this, you know, a little more reliable, um, you could uh, solder a small SMD diode across the input output or maybe even just put any kind of any diode. Um, adjustment is done by this tiny little pot and uh, I haven't used any of these but basically what I would use these for is if I'm uh, going to, if I wanted to power a small project and I needed a specific voltage and I didn't want to worry about whatever someone might put in and put plug into it or you know if I wanted to be able to use just about any AC adapter um, what you could do is you just put this in there and you set it for the voltage you want and then you, it doesn't really matter too much what you plug in um, the only thing about this is that you can see this heat sink is extremely small so I wouldn't put it in high amperage loads you know I would only you know maybe 500 600 700 milliamps um, but it's one of these things where you set it and then forget about it uh, so all right that's it